A memorial is still growing outside the Newark apartment building featured in the sitcom Friends. For days, people have stopped by to pay their respects. And it's not just because they liked a TV show. Matthew Perry transcended his work as an actor thanks to his willingness and courage to pull back the curtain on his battle with addiction, a struggle he began at the age of 14. And we're going to focus on that part of his life and his legacy tonight because Kent, that's the one that Matthew Perry said he wanted to be remembered for. Yeah, it absolutely is, Jana. In recent years, Perry became even more outspoken about his desire to use his own struggles with addiction to help others get on that road to recovery. Though we are still waiting for answers on what led to his death, the man with unique insight into his life says Perry's legacy is already secure. To many, Matthew Perry was a friend an actor who seemed to effortlessly embody a role that put us at ease. some pride. But for those who shared his real life struggle with addiction, he was much more. And he was an inspiration to me um, and to thousands and thousands of other people who are walking this walk a day at a time. William C. Moyers is the vice president of public affairs for the Hazelden Betty Ford Foundation, but first came here in 1989 for help with alcohol and crack cocaine addictions. I knew Matthew a long time ago when he was beginning his journey and I was on my journey uh, from addiction to recovery. Um, I would run into him when I'd be out on the West Coast in recovery meetings. Though Perry achieved incredible success and stardom in those years, he would later admit he was constantly seeking help for addiction. Well, I didn't watch the show and haven't watched the show because I could go drinking, opiates, drinking, cocaine, like I could tell season by season by how I looked. He was so open and honest and authentic about all of his struggles. He often say, oh, you gotta let the alcoholic or the addict hit bottom, but uh, Matthew had hit bottom many times and he kept getting up. Well, he was the epitome of addiction in so many ways, but he was also a beacon of, 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 of hope and help. He says Perry's memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, is a shining example of that. And shortly after it was released last year, William, who has a best-selling book about his own struggles with addiction, says Perry reached out for a final time. Let me just say that I reassured him that it was okay. <laughs> and it was okay, you know. Um, It's hard when somebody with this illness um, doesn't make it. Though he says he's hopeful Perry died sober, he says a cause of death won't do anything to change the cause he worked so hard to champion. If somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? I can say yes and follow up and do it. When I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want that to be the first thing that's mentioned. What he did is plant his own spirit in the hearts and the souls of anybody he crossed a path with, whether it was me or a complete stranger. Um, and so he lives on. I mean, Matthew Perry's spirit lives in the spirit of those of us who continue to walk our walk. His legacy will be, gotta keep trying, gotta keep trying. William Moyers says all the attention and uncertainty around Matthew Perry's death right now has been unsettling for himself and for others who strive every day to maintain their recovery. That's why he suggests checking in with friends or loved ones on a similar path right now, whether they've been sober, he says, for 30 days or 30 years. Jana. That's such an important message, and I'm so grateful that he took the time to sit and talk with you because not everybody knows Matthew Perry from Friends, but everybody knows somebody in addiction, whether it's the person themselves or a friend or family member. And he said, make no mistake, Jana, there are people watching right now and seeing this that might also be thinking, I need to get help and it's okay to ask for help. He says, that's why this is important. Thanks so much, Kent, we appreciate it.